How you doing? I'm Crypto Mikkel. So, I actually, we do a bunch of, uh, I've been doing a bunch of deployments for farms and things like that. So, we're actually interested in looking at immersion cooling for some of those setups. And I know that Bigsplit has been on one of our lists of, uh, of for quite some time. Uh, Y'all been in the company for quite quite a while now. Yes. Almost about four or five years, if I'm not mistaken. We've been running our mine in the United States for four years. But they, yeah. And they've been around longer than, I think, uh, eight years total. Yeah, okay. Um, what's your name again? Rob. Rob, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. So. Uh, Tell me a little bit about what y'all have got set up over here. Okay, so right now, this is the inside of a 20-foot container right here. It's okay. just a live feed of one of the cells open. This is what it looks like inside when it's fully loaded. Um, right here, all these are 96 SJ Pros. Okay, 96 Terry Yeah, and I've got them all clocked out to 141 right now. And on stock power supplies. We are at the hottest temperature right now is 64. If I go to through the rest, it's probably 65. Right. And in Texas right now, it's 86 and high humidity. If you come back later, you'll see it at 108. Yep. And you'll see that this doesn't change. I'm, I'm from Oklahoma, so, so yeah. I know all about this. So, uh, yeah, it's actually... Uh, so, yes, we don't... Seeing this is perfect. Ours, ours doesn't... I think the hottest we got... Maybe last week when it's like 118 out there. Yeah, it got we hot got last like week. Like 70 degrees. No, it's not, it's not really not with, that with bad. With 45 percent overclocking. Okay. And how much uh, how much fluid per one contact module? 180. 180 per, liters per module. You're basing in based in Texas. I mean, you're running Fort Worth. Fort Worth, Texas. So you're running pretty good temperatures compared for like how hot it can be in Texas. Um, so that's really good to see. And how many units can or how many? Miners, I guess S19 J Pros, can we fit in each a whole section? Right 24, here. six in each. Cell. Six in each. Okay. So how so, roughly your meg, your how many watts can you push out of one cell? Or one per, cell. Yeah, one cell. 120 per rack, so 30 okay. per cell. 30 per cell. We okay. have pushed 32 and maintained good temperatures. We'll be put like four S19s overclocked to like 8,000 watts. Okay. We got to keep between the 30 to 32,000 watts per cell. Okay. So, but you are able to push your watts. Yeah. Obviously, pretty far if you're hitting eight, you know, 8,000 watts per machine, which is pretty impressive. One key um, note is the new PDU is coming out right now. Okay. Which is over here. And we were hoping to have it here in time, but it's, it's two weeks delayed on, right. on the molding. So if you look on the front of this one, you'll see tabs right there. Yeah. The PDU sits on the front right here. And you plug in here, and it's got a network switch here. And then these are everything it does all through here. You can control your automation. You can control every single miner. You can uh, the short circuit protection. So if it senses your power supply is about to go out, it'll shut down the miner, so it won't pop a fuse. So it'll keep the rest of the mine going. That's good. You have complete remote control here, and with this, you can easily control 10 to 15 megawatts from your phone by yourself, as long as you had like a, a second party like a repair service. If that's not your right. specialty, yeah. I mean, in this mine over here, the success we've had in 19 months of running, mm -hmm. we have gone through three power supplies, and that's pushed out to over 5,000 watts on each one of them. Two, two control boards, and that's it. In the matter of what? 19 months. Really not bad. And that's pushing them to the limit. Right. Now, I know you, I don't know how much you know about the software, but that's an inaccurate number. Okay. I would say it, right now it's running at about 44, 32. I've uh, amp clamped it. I put it on smart PDUs. That's another reason. We'll have smart PDUs to show the real power right. outage. But this is about 12% over, so it's about 44, 32 right now. Okay. So when the new PDUs come out, this at, this number will become probably more accurate because they'll be able to have the data have on that, hand, yes, like quick and easy. Right now, this is just an algorithm calling. Like it's running this many hertz, it's running this many volts, and it tries to estimate the algorithm. Right. But right now, we are in this system because it is running so cool, and I have the data to back it up if you ever want to share later. Yeah. We got the contact. I am running more efficient at 45% overclocked in this system than in air if it was a perfect condition. Right now, I'm doing 30 joules per terahash, air is 32.5. Right. That, that's really impressive. I, I really like to see numbers like that. Um, and you, of course, you're running X19 or S19 J Pros on there. I mean, clearly you got M30 S plus pluses over there. Is that what we got? M50s. M50s. S19. Okay. And they're running basically the same software. Or no, this is the this is this is the software upgrade. that's coming out right now. It's called Amp Mixbit AMS. Okay. And it fully integrates with any all your miners. And this is where the 
right away the API is plugged in for the smart PDU. Right. So it plugs in there. Your automation can plug in there. So there's an app for your phone. So you can just run your whole mine from your phone because it's all integrated into this one big speed AMS. That is very nice. I really like that, especially because you can see your consumption and it's like real time consumption. And not you can just create estimate. different farms. So you know which farm is doing which. So you can kind of set up between yeah. uh, different containers that you may be running or, or different if, modules. Maybe different locations. If you're running right. like three different locations right. and you've got like two containers at one, three at another, or you got one building, however you want to do it. Okay. That's pretty nice. And then can you use like separate logins for other customers? Like if you have a customer yeah, that a wants to view There's a hotel. There you go. That's, yeah. that's some good stuff. I, I know that's a big thing for like hosting, people would like to see their stuff, yeah. you know, they just, they just want to see it. That's yeah. all, all it really is. They just want to see what's going on, how it's hashing. Because there's a lot of stuff out there that doesn't quite work right. Right. And for the last four years, I've seen how well this works, I've yes. seen what it does. And everybody that comes by the location to see it is kind of blown away because I'm saying, here's my computer, log into any money you want, see the history, right. see if I'm lying to you or not. You, you have free reign, I don't care. I'm not hiding anything. I really like that. And so what is your... I mean, it says right here, what, 8,500 per, no, the, per this module? No, the giveaway. So the giveaway, okay. This, this particular thing that they're giving away is unique. It doesn't run on three phase. It runs on single phase 240. So the average guy in America, if they has a 240 outlet, can get this plugged in. We're giving away a dry cooler with it. And that that's part of the contest right now. We're also giving away a full rack with a dry cooler. Uh, this is definitely three phase when you're pulling right. that mitch. But yes, those are the gifts that we're giving away here at the show. That is... That is really nice, and I really like to see the new smart PDUs uh, that you're coming out with. Um, I've been following y'all for quite some time, so it's kind of like viewing and seeing and seeing something like this that y'all are continuously striving to do better as a company is, is what we like to see. So I appreciate your time. I, I know you got to get out of here. By. So yeah, I got to go pick up the photographer. Thank you guys. Thank you, man. Have, you have a good any one. Questions, please call him. Yeah, we'll do. I'll uh, we'll get in touch, and yeah. we'll, maybe we'll see you here soon.